Item number seven, annual report of the downtown Yuba City Business Improvement District proposed, proposed levy and annual assessment for 2016. Presented by Darren Gale. We, we've even got one of these big mics up here now. Yes, you do. So uh, good evening, uh, Mayor and uh, Council Members. Darren Gale, uh, Economic Growth and Public Affairs for the City of Yuba City. Um, annually, it's uh, my pleasure for the last few years to uh, bring uh, forth really a two-part uh, process of seeing our renewal of our Downtown Business Association. Uh, it's done on an annual basis. We have a very strong um, DBA. Uh, we're very lucky to have uh, Cindy Payne as the president of that organization. And, and I come to think about it, it's been a long time since an actual property owner has been the president of the DBA. I don't know how long that's been, but it's, it's been a significant amount of time. And it's great to see a property owner who's also a, a business owner um, on the street. And, and in addition to uh, Cindy Payne, we have a few of the board members, uh, David Holycross, uh, um, Leanne Simino with... Uh, going blank on the new bank name Suncrest. okay Suncrest soon to be Suncrest and uh, Allison uh, Robinson from uh, the theater gallery I uh, represented uh, here tonight um, I'm gonna go ahead and turn the time over to Cindy to give her uh, annual report uh, but I would like to just preface it with that we have a strong viable DBA that provides an amazing service to the um, not not just to the businesses down there uh, but they're really our, our largest uh, um, public place that we have our two largest community events, uh, uh, both strolls, and it's all due to the efforts that uh, uh, Cindy and her board uh, does on an annual basis. So I'll turn the time over to Cindy, and then I can uh, finish up the presentation at that point. All right. Thank you, Darren. Welcome, Cindy. Thank you. Oh, do, I guess I don't have to touch that. <laughs> <laughs> you, can, you can pull it down. Okay. Um, thank you, Mayor John Dukes and the rest of the council. Appreciate you for taking the time to listen to us. Uh, thank you to my fellow board members for here to support me today. Uh, as I have a PowerPoint, and honestly, Darren, where are you? I'm never. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> okay. Um, to show this is the boundaries of Pluma Street. Um, the big yellow blotch is the tea garden house, actually. Uh, showing the residential. Also, we have some of the side streets are partially of the um, different sections of our assessment. This is our board of directors. As you can see, I'm the president. Uh, I own the Tea Garden House Event Center and also Jerry Stereo. We have Joe as Federico as the owner of the Happy Viking as the vice president, treasurer as Leanne. Secretary Angela, and you can see the rest of the board members. We also have, have some different um, committees. This is how they're all broken up. Uh, we have very active committees. Everything is on the first or the Thursdays of every month, so it's easy to remember for all of us busy people. Uh, this is, I cannot see, so let me go to my stuff. It says what we, uh, let's see. Okay, my accomplishments. Sorry, my glasses are good. That's like in between there. Shows what we've done for the accomplishments of the year. Uh, we, well, you can probably read that better than I. So, <laughs> okay. We, um, attend the city council meetings we have twilight thursdays which we had every thursday along with our farmers market you uh, summer stroll which is a free community event which is very successful i'd say we have approximately 10,000 people participate in that in october november we have our holiday passport which is also coming up this thursday night hopefully you guys can stop by at the bank they're having um an open house and also several of the businesses will be open I hope you can stop by we also have a passport that you could take around and get stamped to different participating businesses and we'll be having the drawing of the gift certificates from different uh, businesses will be the winner for that and also we have the Christmas stroll coming up December 12th hopefully all of you can participate it's a Saturday we're also going to have a little parade about 
think it's about six o'clock. Uh, hopefully we can honor singing Johnny this year. He's been a fixture in this area for years and years and years. And we do the tree lighting and really hope all of you can attend that. Um, and I'll talk to Fotine and get you somehow in that parade if you'd like to. So it's more of a walking parade. So, okay. And just a few pictures of some of our strolls. Some of the beautification that we've done with the city's dollars that you guys have done to pick, make the place beautiful. A lot of our associate members who have, cho have seen the importance of being part of our downtown business association, that we are a very community involved, community orientated area. We have some new businesses, Poppies, um, is open. We have Justin's Kitchen, and Poppy's has taken the place of, yeah, no, Posh Decor. So, and then also businesses that are reopened as Fotines. And we also have a, and then a, we have one that's not on here, Tamale World. They're also open now, too. Uh, business that is closed is Ch Chuck Farm, Chuck Jones State Farm Insurance, they were associate member. Cafe Olivetti, they were replaced by Justin's Kitchen and the squeezed in Fotine has now taken their location. Any questions? Any questions? <laughs> Through the mayor. Yes. Um, one of the things I noticed um, on the map is that a lot of the associate members are um, either on Palumas or the side streets um, connecting to Palumas. And uh, have you ever considered uh, the idea of actually making it an expanded down the side roads, down Palumas a little bit farther as a official downtown type uh, membership or making the, discussing that? Because it seems like they're interested enough to where, you know, including them into the actual association uh, officially and expanding your boundary of the official, you know, and then of course right. you're the house now that it's actually a business, change that, do some updating on the, uh, of what the, um, on the, on map the map itself. and designations. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Actually I was paying fees though too. I didn't get the oh, residential I, I, rate. So, <laughs> but, uh, just that's making a it good official point. On the map because it's, it's, you know, exactly. Yeah. We'll make sure we get that updated. Um, we do have, a zone B for areas like the cookie tree and that area. The, um, there was a reason a few years ago that that complex wasn't with, wasn't included in there. So that's something that we should go back and re-examine. Good idea. Thank you, Stan. I'm just thinking that, um, they, they seem to be very cooperative and, uh, with with the uh, DBA and some of the others that, you know, maybe an official inclusion in that or opportunity maybe if they want to be, yeah, be, um, a nice thing to do. Yeah, Center Street is included in it. So <clears throat> is Tea right. Garden to Shasta Street, and then Forbes Avenue to a certain level. I believe it's to Walnut Street. I've noticed that there's those shaded areas that were on there that right. has some, you know, some. De uh, um, zone B. Right. That you have yeah. That. And I will get with the board at our next meeting and address that issue. There's even a few businesses even over on Shasta too. So those might be explored also yeah. as a part of the because Because the downtown uh, is a little bit larger. There's opportunities to. And if, I believe. But this... I know it's all business. I mean, the uh, property owner driven if they really, you know, want to be interested or not. But. Right. And I believe this is an older map that was originally implemented several years ago. Right. I bet at least eight to 10 years ago. So it is time to update that map. Okay. All right. Any other questions or comments? I like what you're doing down there, really. It's, oh, thank you. It's a yeah. lot of fun to be involved. Yeah, it is nice. And it's also nice to, <clears throat> we appreciate everything the city's done uh, to make it look so good for all of us. We do appreciate it. And I've noticed that if you ever watch some of the news channels that come down, they always choose Pluma Street 
to be a feature. So that's that's very yes. nice. We appreciate that a lot. So I hope you guys approve our um, association dues again for the next year. And that's about it, unless you have any other questions. All right. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right. I would entertain a motion unless, Darren, you've got more for us. Nope. Just uh, the motion. All right. I'd like to uh, move approval of the annual report as filed, adopt the resolution of uh, intention to levy and collect 2050 annual assessments. I'll second Set that. Set a public hearing December 15th. Oh, I'll second that. That's okay. All right. Have a motion and a second. Any further comments? All those in favor, say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries unanimously.